Namaste. In the last video, we have discussed about Rolle's theorem. Now, in this video, we will see Lagrange's mean value theorem. Learning outcome of this video is at the end of the session, students will be able to verify Lagrange's mean value theorem for a given function. Now, let us consider the statement of a Lagrange's mean value theorem. Let f of x be any function defined on the closed interval a comma b satisfying the conditions that f of x is continuous in the closed interval a b and differentiable in the open interval a comma b then there exists at least one point c in the open interval a comma b that is between the points a comma b such that f dash of c equal to f of b minus f of a upon b minus a that is those functions which are continuous in the closed interval a b and open inter differentiable in open interval a comma b for such functions there exist at least one point between a and b say c such that the derivative of the function at that point is exactly equal to f of b minus f of a upon b minus a where f of b and f of a are the values of the function at the points a and b. Consider some deductions of Lagrange's mean value theorem. If the function f of x is such that f dash of x is 0 for every value of x in the open interval a comma b, then the function f of x must be a constant function. Next deduction, if the two functions f of x and g of x are such that the derivative of these functions equal at each and every point of the open interval a comma b then these two functions f of x and g of x they are differ by only a constant next deduction if a function f of x is such that derivative of f of x is greater than 0 throughout the interval a comma b then the function f of x is monotonically increasing function of x in the open interval a comma b and the last deduction if the function f of x is such that the derivative that is f dash of x is less than 0 throughout the interval a comma b then the function f of x is monotonically decreasing function of x in the interval a comma b pause the video and check whether the function f of x equal to e raised to x is monotonically increasing or not. I hope all of you have written the answer. Now according to the result number 3 to check whether the given function is monotonically increasing or not, first we have to differentiate the given function. Now here the given function is f of x equal to e raised to x differentiate it and we know that the derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x itself and into derivative of this exponent x is 1 that is f dash of x equal to e raised to x and we know that exponential will always take the value greater than 0 on the real number system so obviously it will take the value greater than 0 in the interval 1 comma 2 that is the derivative of a provided function is strictly greater than 0 in the interval 1 comma 2. Therefore, by result number 3, the given function f of x is monotonically increasing function. Let us consider some examples. Verify Lagrange's mean value theorem for the function a raised to x on the interval 0 comma 1. Let us denote the provided function a raised to x by f of x and check the first condition continuity in the interval 0 comma 1. We know that the definition of the continuity any function f of x is said to be continuous if the limit of the function and the value of the function at that point must be equal. Now first of all we will find limit of the function as x tends to a where a is any point in the interval 0 comma 1 and here f of x is e raised to x let us replace it. Now it is limit e raised to x as x tends to a and as x tends to a e raised to x tends to e raised to a. Therefore 
limit of the function as x tends to a is a raised to a. Now let us calculate the value of this function f of x at x equal to a that is f of a. If I put x equal to a on the right hand side we get it as a raised to a. Now we can see that these two equations the right hand sides are same therefore we can say that limit of the function and the value of the function both are equal. By the definition of continuity we can say that f of x is a continuous function in the given interval 0, 1. Now second condition differentiability in the open interval 0, 1. I, if I differentiate f of x we get its derivative f dash of x as a raised to x itself and we know that a raised to x and from this we can see that uh, the value of a raised to x is exist throughout the interval 0, 1. Therefore I can say that f of x is differentiable function throughout the interval 0, 1. Therefore the conditions of Lagrange's mean value theorem are satisfied. Therefore by this theorem there exists at least one point c between 0 and 1 such that the derivative of the function at this point c is equal to f of b minus f of a upon b minus a. Now here a is 0 and b is 1. Now let me substitute it we get it as f of 1 minus f of 0 upon 1 minus 0 and we know that f is given by e raised to x so it is written as e raised to 1 minus e raised to 0 upon 1 that is what it is e raised to 1 that is e as it is and e raised to 0 is 1. Now in the left hand side f dash of c is here and we know that f dash of x is e raised to x to get this f dash of c let me put x equal to c so that we get it as e raised to c equal to e minus 1. Now here c is present in the exponent to get the value of c let me operate log on both sides. We get it as log of e raised to c equal to log of a minus 1 and we know that log and exponentials are inverses of each other therefore log of a is identity therefore we get it as c equal to log of a minus 1 that is this is the required point c. Consider one more example verify Lagrange's mean value theorem for the function x to the power 2 by 3 on the interval minus 2 comma 2. Let us denote the provided function x to the power 2 by 3 as f of x. Now let us check the first condition continuity of f of x in the interval minus 2 comma 2. Let us find out first limit limit f of x as x tends to a where a is any point in the interval minus 2 comma 2. Now is equal to and we can see that if we put x as x tends to a now this x to x to the power 2 by 3 converted to a to the power 2 by 3. Let me call it as equation number 1. Now let us calculate the value of the function at x equal to a. If I put x equal to a in this relation the right hand side reduces to a to the power 2 by 3. Now from these two we can see that the right hand sides are same therefore the left hand sides the limit of the function and the value of the function they are equal by a to the power 2 by 3. By the definition of continuity f of x is continuous in the interval minus 2 comma 2. Now next condition differentiability in the interval minus 2 comma 2. Here we have provided f of x as x to the power 2 by 3. Let us differentiate this with respect to x and we get the derivative f dash of x as 2 by 3 x to the power minus 1 by 3. Now this negative power term can be written in the denominator with positive power that is 2 by 3 into x raised to 1 by 3. Now we can see that this derivative 2 by 3 into x raised to 1 by 3 exists throughout the interval minus 2 comma 1 except at the point x equal to 0. At the point x equal to 0 this derivative f dash of x takes infinite value. Therefore, we can say that the, uh, the function f of x is not differentiable in the throughout interval minus 2 comma 2. Hence, not all the value, all the properties of the Lagrange's mean value theorem are satisfied. Therefore, for this problem, Lagrange's mean value theorem is not applicable. For this, 
video i have referred engineering mathematics by np bali thank you